Hello and welcome to Hack Attack. I am Jakob Hack, your host, and today we're going to take a look at the I am Thor patch in uh, Propellerhead Synthesizer Thor. I am Thor. Yes, you are. Thor is actually speaking, and I'm going to show you what makes that possible. Now, the key to making a patch like this is knowing uh, your step sequencer, knowing how it works, and making it work together with the filter. You also need the formant filter. Uh, it will actually produce that vocal sound together with the uh, oscillators. And you need two oscillators for this. This patch has been loaded up with a analog oscillator and a noise oscillator. And the noise oscillator is what makes that th th thor, th th thor sound. If you look closely, you can see that none of these oscillator has been routed through these buttons. This is actually being done uh, in the routing window, and we're going to take a look at that also. As you can see, the format filter has been loaded, and it's been set um, right down here. So the next thing we're going to look at is the routing window. First of all, we'll check this window, this part here. This is how you make the synthesizer speak. Now, it's been set to a one-shot. That means it will, when you press a key, it will just start running the sequencer in one shot. So it will go from the beginning to the end in this motion because it's set to forward. If it was set to reverse, it would go the other way. Pending, it will go like that. And random, I don't know how it would go. The rate is set to 15.9 hertz. It's unsynced. You can sync it to tempo, but this hasn't been synced. So if I turn up this knob, I am Thor. Thor is gonna sound like he's been on crack. And if I turn it down, I am Thor. The next thing we're gonna look at is uh, how we're starting the sequence, how we're triggering it. And we're doing it by sending the MIDI gate from the MIDI keyboard, this thing here, to the uh, sequencer trigger, and it will start uh, running. As you can see, if I press the key and just let it go, it will just run anyway. So that's how you make it st uh, start running. The next thing we're gonna look at is how Thor is producing that th 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 sound. If you look up here in the routing window, you can see that sequencer note is controlling the filter envelope gate. The sequencer notes are always in this row up here and if you look closely you follow my finger you can see that this knob has been turned all the way up so if i turn it down I am thor will actually believe that he's some kind of ore and if i turn it up I am that personality disorder is being has been removed what's actually happening here is the sequencer is sending information to the filter envelope gate telling it to open at this time so if i turn these up I am let's do it like that I am you see I am and knowing how to do this at the right time just at the right time is the key to making really cool patches I am yes you are the next thing we're going to look at is how this sound is actually being routed. As we saw here, it's not been punched in. N n none of the oscillators has been punched in. Go back to the routing window. You can see that oscillator 1, which is the analog oscillator, and oscillator 2, that is the noise oscillator, is being routed through filter 1, and it's being controlled by the sequencer gate. The sequencer gate will determine uh, when sound will come. And if we look at the gate length here, it's this row. All of these buttons, you can when you press a button like this, it's always this row you're looking at. So look at the gate length, because the oscillators are being sent to the filters and controlled by the sequencer gate. So if I start turning these, I'm going to make Thor stutter. I am All of these has been set to a uh, full amount. So if you put them right up, it's going to open the gate for each step at its fullest, fullest peak. And if you turn it down to halfway, it's going to open for half the amount of time it takes to run through that step. So if I turn them down to, the, to half of it. I am full. Now, what's important here is that oscillator 2, the, the, th th the noise oscillator, has also been routed through filter 2, 
but there's no filter here. Yeah, I know. And it's being controlled by the filter envelope, this thing right here. So if I turn this down, I am I am I am I am the filter envelope is actually controlling the amount of uh, noise coming through from filter 2. The next thing we're going to look at up here, you can see that sequencer curve 1 is controlling filter frequency 1, and that's the formant X on the formant filter. Sequencer curve 2 is controlling filter resonance, and that's the formant Y on the formant filter. So that's X and that's Y. And those two together produce vowels and to control vowels we go back to the routing window and look at the uh, sequencer here. If we go to curve 1 you can see small minute changes has been made to these knobs and this takes time, incredible amount of time and patience. So if I start mocking these up So what I'm actually doing here is I'm, I'm just controlling the filter with the sequencer. That doesn't sound too cool, does it? Another thing we're going to look at is the uh, step duration. As I press this, you can see that the step sequencer is hurrying through the first steps and then slowing down. And this is caused by the step duration. And if you turn this up full, it's going to play each step fully. So each knob decides how long a step is going to play. So the further down you go, the shorter that step's going to be. And the further up, the longer that step's going to be. Another thing is that the creator of this preset has worked hard to make small, small, minute changes to make the voice sound even a bit more human, well, <laughs> as human as it can sound, by using LFO2 to control the oscillator 1 pitch. You can hardly hear it, but it's, it's minute, but it's there. So if I turn it up, you can hear what that LFO actually does. You can use an LFO like this, controlling the oscillator pitch, to make the voice sound more raspy or, or you know, like, like Thor's been, like, hogging down a few pints of whiskey or, or, or smoking too much. If you look here, you can see that the global envelope, it's this thing, it's controlling the oscillator one pitch by a small amount. And if I turn that up... I am... I am... Four. So that's how you make Thor speak. All of these parameters together creating a patch that speaks. And then you can make some cool things with it, like I did here. Thank you for watching Hack Attack with me, Jakob Hack, your host. Feel free to check in on my project-based blog. Right now I'm making an entire album with an iPad mini non-retina and everything is being made inside the iPad. Uh, I'm also using the internal microphone, no external samples, no external hardware, no nothing, just an iPad uh, and my creativity. I also have a Twitter account, so hit me up anytime if you've got any thoughts. Please subscribe to my channel, comment down below and I'll keep making more vids. Have a look, have a listen and see you next time.